ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஃபார்மா டாபிக் ஸ்டாண்ட் வெல்கம் டு தி பிரின்சிபிள்ஸ் ஆஃப் ட்ரக் டிஸ்கவரி சீரீஸ் ஃபார் எம் ஃபார்ம் ஃபார்மகாலஜி லெட் அஸ் சி வாட் இஸ் டார்கெட் வேலிடேஷன் இன் திஸ் சீரீஸ் இன் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி ஹவ் சீன் வாட் இஸ் டார்கெட் ஐடென்டிஃபிகேஷன் So once the target has been identified, it becomes necessary to confirm uh, a correct target has been selected or not. A cru- uh, it is a crucial uh, step to validate the target in animals and preferably in human models. The success of any drug discovery depends upon uh, two critical parameters. That is identification of good quality targets and their validation. A potential target is identified in the context of a specific disease. when its interaction with a compound exhibits amelioration or a decrease of the disease by increasing or inhibiting the biological activity then the target is said to be validated let us see what are the different steps in target validation in other words validated target is uh, the one that can be manipulated with the drugs to produce a positive clinical effect in humans the challenge lies in developing uh, techniques for target manipulation ranging from various in vitro approaches to animal models target validation is a multi step process several uh, target validation tools are available which help in assessing their genetic association with the disease functional analysis in model cell systems or in animal models of diseases the various tools for target validation are anti sense agents ribozymes peptide nucleic acids transcription factors gene knockouts rna interference antibodies small active uh, drug like uh, bioactive molecules uh, that is called the chemical genomics aptamers and uh, photoaptamers recombinant protein arrays let us see what is anti sense agents anti sense agents uh, prevent the expression of a protein product of rna through induced degradation of uh, the rna via rna rna enzyme ribozymes these are small uh, catalytic rna molecules that cleave another rna sequence at specific sites uh, there are uh, two types of uh, ribozymes one is uh, hairpin ribozyme and the another one is hammerhead ribozyme the next is uh, peptide uh, nucleic acids these are alternates to anti sense uh, reagents and block the protein translation transcription factors they are uh, similar to zinc finger proteins in dna they are stable molecules recognizes uh, the three base pair uh, sequence gene knockouts usually carried out in mouse uh, a gene to be mutated uh, 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 in the cells by homologous uh, recombinatorial insertional mutagenesis uh, techniques rna interference it is the most attractive tool in uh, target validation which is economical first introduced in nematode uh, canorohabditis uh, elegans that is c elegans it is used to evaluate the association between the expression of a particular gene with the phenotype uh, to establish a causal relationship antibodies monoclonal antibodies are uh, the most preferred tool for target validation target specific proteins and most efficient in protein identification bioactive uh, small molecules these are molecules that directly or indirectly inactivate effect of proteins applied in chemical genomics aptamers these are single stranded rna or dna oligonucleotides that can be employed to inhibit the function of a specific protein photoaptamers photo reactive nucleotides are introduced by uh, replacing thymidines with uh, bromo deoxy uridine recombinant uh, protein arrays uh, these arrays uh, target multiple proteins concurrently to enable high throughput screening of interaction between the proteins and the nucleic acids the various uh, tools for target validation uh, in the human tissues are one is molecular imaging that is uh, in situ hybridization immunohistochemistry microscopy tissue arrays auto radiography and laser dissection microscopy uh, the validated targets include uh, the genomics application of genomics and proteomics positional cloning mutational analysis serial analysis of gene expression microarrays bioinformatics western blotting antibody and uh, protein microarrays 
and functional uh, validation through cell biology tissue pharmacology protein uh, over expression gene manipulation activation mutiva- motivation mutation of a gene uh, knockout technology ribozyme antisense and uh, rna interference the important aspects of uh, target validation are use reliable and uh, suitable animal models and the latest techniques in gene targeting and expression conduct of many tests of uh, the molecular compounds to find the possible beneficial effects against a large number of existing diseases review of existing treatments and the anticipated effects apply new technologies such as those uh, that provide a new ways to target and manipulate the biochemical pathways and uh, the genetic aspects so target uh, identification and validation involves uh, several steps uh, such as identification of uh, gene expression through microarray or uh, splice variants through network analysis that is protein protein interactions nucleic acid interactions uh, through chips uh, cell based assays uh, which uh, reveal the apoptosis uh, rna interference assays and autophagy in silico methods uh, genomics Uh, that is sequencing and homology modeling proteomics uh, sh- that is a shotgun approach proteome profiling epigenetics uh, genomic uh, imprinting and uh, dna uh, methylation and uh, imaging and uh, analysis uh, through fluorescence microscopy uh, tem sem and immuno cytochemistry the target validation uh, involves uh, two important uh, key steps one is uh, reproducibility whenever a target has been validated again when we check it it has to reproduce the same results that is the meaning of it once the target has been identified via a specific technique or from a literature it uh, can be validated through uh, different techniques uh, such as uh, chromatography expression cloning protein microarray reverse uh, transfected uh, cell microarray biochemical uh, suppression dna microarray uh, system biology and so on so reproducibility of uh, the validated target is most important such that the target pan can be used to identify newer molecules the next is uh, we can introduce a variation to the ligand target uh, environment when we introduce a new environment how the target behaves how is the how the ligand uh, behaves uh, in treating that disease that is the aspect of this uh, introducing a vari- variation genetic manipulation of the target genes uh, a particular gene uh, related to the disease can be knocked out they become uh, knockout uh, transgenic animals or a particular gene manipulation can be done to increase the expression of a particular gene uh, for example in case of cancer uh, these uh, knockout or knock in transgenic animals are very useful in validating the targets then antibodies as we discussed uh, monoclonal antibodies are very useful uh, in uh, suggesting the validation of a particular target then chemical uh, genomics by introducing the chemical what happens to the gene so that gives a information of uh, the genetic aspects of a particular molecule when it is bound so these aspects are important in uh, target validation so you have to identify a perfect target and it can be it can be perfect uh, only when it is validated so this is regarding target validation i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel thank you for listening go through all the series uh, which will be posted in this uh, principles of drug discovery through pharma topics channel thank you